We have a cylindrical pressure vessel, which is made of an alloy. And we have the information about the pressure vessel's dimensions. In part A, our goal is to determine the pressure which will cause fatigue failure in 10 to the power of 5 cycles when it is repeatedly applied. And in part B, we will determine the safety factor against sealing for the pressure we found in part A. Since this is a multi-axial fatigue problem, we should first find equivalent stresses from the stress amplitude and the mean stress. And then we will map these stresses and using the best plan equation, we will solve the problem. So before solving, let's write the material properties. Again from table 9.1. The yield strength is equal to 1185 MPA. Sigma F prime is equal to 2030 MPA. A is equal to 100 1889 MPA and B is equal to minus 0 0.104. So let's start with part A. We know that the equivalent stress amplitude will be equal to 1 over square root of 2 times the square root of sigma 1A. These are the principal normal stresses. Sigma 2a square plus sigma 2a minus sigma 3a square plus sigma 1a minus sigma 3a square. And the equivalent mean stress will be equal to the sum of principal mean stresses. So, as you can see, we should first calculate the principal stresses. On the vessel, we will have a stress sigma x. And it will be equal to pr over 2t. We will also have a sigma theta, which will be pr over t. And finally, we will have sigma r which is minus p. We know that sigma 1a is equal to sigma x over 2, which is when we substitute the values, the pressure times radius over 2 times the thickness. Sigma 2a will be equal to sigma theta over 2 and when we substitute the values it will be p times 125 millimeters over 2.5 millimeters times 2. And finally sigma 3a will be equal to sigma r which is minus p. Sigma 1m will also be equal to sigma x over 2, which is 12.5p when we compute. Sigma 2m will be again sigma theta over 2, and it is 25p. And finally, sigma 3m is again sigma r, and it is equal to minus p. So when we use these values and compute the equivalent stress amplitude and the mean stress, we will find the equivalent stress amplitude as B 
which will be equal to 22.52p and the equivalent mean stress will be 36.5p. We can use SWT equation. We know that according to this equation, sigma r will be equal to sigma max times sigma a. And in our case, it will be equal to the equivalent mean stress plus the equivalent stress amplitude times the equivalent stress amplitude. And finally, we will find sigma r as thirty six point forty six p. Now we can use the best queen equation. thirty six point forty six p will be equal to sigma f prime times two times the number of cycles to the power of minus zero point one hundred four. And from this equation, we will get the pressure as 15.645 MPa. When we apply a pressure of 15.64, the pressure will cause fatigue failure in 10 to the power of 5 cycles. So now we can move to part B since we find the pressure. Since we know the pressure, we can now calculate sigma x, sigma theta, and sigma r. Sigma x was equal to 25p which is 391.12 MPa. Sigma theta was equal to 50p which is 782.24 MPa. And finally sigma r was minus p and it is minus 15.645 MPa. Now we can calculate the Volmnes stress, sigma h bar. We know that it is 1 over square root of 2 times the square root of sigma x minus sigma theta square plus sigma x minus sigma r square plus sigma theta minus sigma r square. And when we compute by substituting the values, we will obtain the Volmnes' stress is equal to 691.03 MPa. We know that the safety factor against yielding will be equal to the yield strength over the Volmnes stress. We know that the yield strength for the alloy is 1185 MPa and the Volmnes stress is equal to 691.03 MPa and the safety factor is equal to 1. 71.